India's largest That, that visual that we just came out with, ladies and gentlemen, of that soft landing of the Vikram lander, that is that moment in space history for India. We have already achieved far more than what we set out, but that, that will set us apart and perhaps ahead. Let's just quickly go across. We want to see that moment. There is not going to be another, uh, there is not going to be a third camera, but the Pragyan rover will show the Vikram lander and the lander will show what it's watching as it, as it comes out. And we are hoping to get those pictures very soon. But Deepa, phenomenal work. And I think it, it's a great moment, you know, uh, that uh, and you are at a space which is buzzing. So across India, people watching this broadcast inside planetariums, they may be getting a little eager about and anxious about ye kab bajega? when will it be 1.53 it is only 1.02 a.m. but it must be as broad as daylight for you early morning because that's the kind of buzz you are feeling around you at ISRO Well, no one slept at all, uh, you know, ever since we all moved in here. And there are a few young scientists, you know, uh, who are part of other programs of ISRO as well, who are actually here, uh, who, who are, you know, watching this uh, moon uh, landing event live. They, they want to be a part of this event as much as, uh, you know, their work uh, with ISRO is involved. Of course, they may not be part of this program itself, but many of them who are from other projects as well, who are part of this, uh, you know, um, landing event watching. Uh, that, that they want to catch it here live. Uh, so quite a bit of excitement all over actually. So many mm. scientists, youngsters especially that we are seeing who have come out. Some of them of course are involved with the project. We spoke to a couple of them earlier. Uh, mm. One of them in fact was in charge of one of the payloads or instruments. Uh, and he is talking about how you know his work starts tomorrow but he is just here uh, to watch it live and ensure that everything is going hedge free so that his work uh, you know on the on the instruments and starting of the instruments on the lander will start tomorrow so quite a bit of excitement uh, you know we mm. just minutes to go now for that landing event to start off uh, for the 15 terrifying minutes as the uh, mm. chairman had earlier said and yes uh, uh, the next 15 days of course will be the journey of this lunar craft itself and the land you interacted over, you uh, interacted on, on the moon surface you interacted with a lot of the school students didn't you as they came into bengaluru touched down it from bengaluru from across various corners of India, what was the experience and what were they expecting? And in a short while, I am given to understand in inside of 27 minutes, we will have the Prime Minister coming to, uh, to Isro. That's right. He is uh, set to land at the Istrak Center here in about 20-25 minutes from now. 1.30 is the slotted time, scheduled time when he is supposed to arrive. Uh, 1.40 is when the lander will start off on that crucial journey towards its final destination between two craters that have been identified on the moon's surface. And yes, you spoke about all those students. There are 74 students who have been you know, chosen mm. through an online quiz that was conducted by ISRO over the last couple of weeks. And they are all part of this viewing event, live viewing event as well with the Prime Minister. They are also going to be uh, interacting with the Prime Minister after that event. But many of them talking about how excited they were because this is like something they, that they had never dreamt of. They of course attempted that quiz because so many of their classmates and other batchmates were attempting, many of the teachers were encouraging them to attend, attempt that quiz, but they never expected that they would actually win a place uh, to watch this moon landing event and then they were very excited because this is, uh, you know, overall the, the, right. the, the, the scale of this campaign, of this project itself uh, is one thing that has got a lot of them interested. Maybe they all may not become rock Rocket scientists tomorrow, but certainly it's kicked up some amount of curiosity and interest uh, to uh, you know to ensure that they pursue something in basic science research, something that gets them uh, uh, you know connected to scientific research in, in India and perhaps make their own waves maybe 10 years from now. Right uh, now the, there are others who are putting out tweets and uh, let me just ask you this quickly, Deepa, since you've interacted with a lot of the scientists, Ankita is one of our viewers who's saying uh, that this is uh, it's it's so nice. Sir, that this time uh, India is a country and Indians are so excited about a space mission. How have the scientists reacted to this attention that they are getting? 
the interest that this has generated are they happy that there is so much of interest around the work that they are doing well uh, okay there are two aspects to it one of course is the scientists who are deeply involved in this project they are a little nervous yes they are little tense but then they are also quite confident that so far everything has been history they have done their tests and their quality checks all over again and again they have checked on the health of the pa the parameters on the lander and the rover they are quite confident that they will be sailing through with their mission uh, as far as uh, you know uh, a few other scientists we spoke look, to look at, look at the visual behind you just look at the visual behind you deepa the are these the school kids on term program they don't happen in a year or two they take deepa the visuals behind you on the screen are these the school children or they they just moved away they just moved these away of, uh, these are of uh, the, the yes these are of the school children who yeah there they are yes yes these are of the school children who uh, who are all uh, set here to watch this uh, and uh,